You know, I've read this book like 10 times now, and I still don't understand why it ends the way it does. Maybe you're not supposed to understand it. Well, I don't think there should be any ambiguity. I mean, you either live with something or you don't. Same with the book. Babe, what are you doing? Scott. I can't take it anymore, Brian. Please don't tell me you're using that thing again. Jesus Christ. That system's going to fry your brain. It's not dangerous if I only use it for two minutes a day. Do you know what happened to the guy that invented virtual reality? He went into a coma and died after testing it. You have no idea how powerful this is. He didn't know what he was doing then. I do. It, it, the police. They knew you had this prototype. You'd be in prison for life. There's a reason why reliving your memories is illegal. It can kill you, for God's sake. My memories are all I have. Scott, you've got to let that go. She's gone. I need a favor. God. Just listen to me. I think I found a way to manipulate the prototype's capabilities. You can't manipulate a system that powerful. If you can relive past memories, you should be able to create new ones too using people and locations that your brain's familiar with. That's how it works. That's nothing but speculation. I'm betting the guy who created this didn't make these prototypes to relive memories for two minutes at a time. No, he was trying to create a new reality, a permanent reality. And I think I finally programmed the right code for it to work. But I need your help. You're gonna die doing this. Is that what you want? I need you to do this for me. All you have to do is put in the disk, type in the code, and press enter. How do you know this is going to work? I manually distorted different memories and compiled components of them to create a new one. I can't access it entirely from my head anymore, so someone else has to enter in the remaining code for it to operate. Well, what happens after two minutes? Since it's no longer utilizing my neural networks to create, it's not dangerous. And if it works, then there won't be a time limit on how long I can stay in that reality. There's no way to know that for sure. Yes, there is. I created a specific memory. It's me and Erica at the restaurant I took her to on our first date. She'll be in a white dress and I'll have on my watch to know when it's been two minutes. This thing is going to kill you. Brian, I need you to do this. I can't. Put in the disc. Type the damn code!
How is it? It's great. It's great. What are you doing? Uh, nothing, I'm just... This view is just so amazing. I'll never get over it. It's like we're in a dream or something.